Are you ready for some high adventure? Coming up next on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. The Hawk Chronicles follow the adventures of Detective Kate Hawk, who went from a Baltimore police detective to intergalactic investigator, from fighting crime on the streets to crime in the stars. In the last episode of The Hawk Chronicles... He looked good. Too good. He looked like he'd been on vacation in the Mediterranean. Sure am seeing you more than I expected, Hawk. Do you think the suicide was some sort of face-saving thing? This looks more like protecting a mission at all costs. I need George to send a transmission for me. Agent Barnes, I am ready for your transmission. I need to send a message to the Mercury. Do you wish to make the transmission? Just uh, notify them that I'm aboard the BSS if they need to contact me. In the meantime, we need to get you ready for the STIP transfer. Then you'll be headed home. Come to my office. I had the autopsy report on your delivery man. There was one odd thing the medical examiner found. They found some undigested paper. They were pretty chewed up, so he evidently didn't want you to find them when you went calling on him. Or is he pretty upset that the cargo had been damaged? Then the cargo ship made a slip up. They said it was only a flesh wound and the package was fine and fully able to perform. Uh, somebody important got shot. And now, episode 64, Kelly's Query. I just don't think there's any way my sister could have found out the truth in such a short time. Haynes called from Ankara and said that Kelly told him she knew her father wasn't a prisoner there. I think she's bluffing him, trying to get him to fold. Well, he stuck to our cover story. He said that she was next planning to contact the hospital at Landstuhl to get a medical evaluation on him. Well, that's easily avoided. We'll put a gag order on the hospital, citing national security. I'll deal with Kelly. In the meantime, you stay on the lab for results on Qua. All right, but get your sister under control. You worry about Qua. I'll handle Kelly. Chairman. It's Nelson. Kate said she would handle Kelly's snooping. Any word on when we can expect Horace's return? I've been in touch with the medical staff. Horace is evidently doing a good job of convincing them with all the signs of being in captivity for five years. I'm sure he is. I mean, he was, after all, in captivity on Latumus. Shouldn't be that hard for him to transfer those feelings to a Turkish prison. They seem convinced enough. Our sources say that they expect Horace to be released within 24 hours. Although, with his medical and psych evaluation, he'll have to go through a security debriefing. Any idea on who will be conducting the debriefing? We are most fortunate to have one of ours doing it. There shouldn't be any problem. How is the investigation on Cool going? No major breaks yet. The autopsy did show that he ingested paper bits before taking the cyanide. They're running the analysis on it now. Very good. Report to me as soon as you have any additional information. Will do. I understand that the first test fire of the energy ray failed. We are still trying to find the best material for their coils. You must... You must succeed. The fate of our planet is in your hands. I can only do what is possible. Our supply of fossil fuels ran out decades ago. We have only a limited supply of nuclear materials left. If we cannot harness the energy of our sun, we may not survive. You must understand that my original design was predicated on ground-based towers, converting electricity through a series of transformers through wireless transmissions. When that Italian thief stole my patents and beat me to making a wireless transmission, all of my funding evaporated. I abandoned all of my research. And here, you have resumed it. We will provide you with what you need. We have everything to give but time. The most important of all commodities. My research and experimentation will continue. I assure you that I am working at full capacity. When can I expect another test of the ray? In three days' time. Do it in two. We are talking about electricity. A modern convenience. You must remember that I grew up in a time without electricity. We can survive one extra day without it. Our worlds are different. Everything we do. The way we live, work, and communicate is done with electricity. Even now, on your world, there would be chaos without it. Show me results, Nicola. As I said, Lord Zokar, I can only do what is possible.
Mr. Hawk? Yes, sir. I'm Dr. Carr. I'll be seeing you this evening. How are you feeling? All things considered, I couldn't be better. From what I understand of your ordeal, that's good to hear. I take it you're here to begin my psyche vow. Now, what makes you think that, Mr. Hawk? A suit in place of a white lab coat. No stethoscope. This isn't exactly an examination room. You just picked up a notepad and it's almost 8 p.m., so pull out the old ink blot test and let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Very good. Agent Hawk. Agent Hawk, is it? I take it you're familiar with my background. Now, what on earth gave you that idea? Because my correct title is Detective Hawk. Only a select few know me as Agent Hawk. Then I'm guessing that select few. Dr. Ralph Carr, Frankfurt Division of the IDF. You can relax. This is just a formality. Oh, I was hoping we had someone on the inside here. So what's our next step? I'll go through the standard questions and evaluation so you can answer any questions later. In case someone asks, which, by the way, they have. I'm sorry? It seems that your daughter has been making inquiries about your imprisonment. <sighs> Kelly, I knew she'd do this. No need to worry about the hospital staff. Just before I came in here, we were notified that your case was oh, confidential. All inquiries will be handled by our PR staff. And they aren't talking. Good. That girl's like a pit bull, but I can't complain. She takes after me. What kind of timeline are we looking at for my release? I don't see why we can't get you out of here by tomorrow morning. Are you prepared for the press? I'm prepared for Kelly, so if I'm prepared for Kelly, I'm prepared for anything. Hey, Mac. What you got? Our technical forensics team has gone through our suspect's phone. It looks pretty clean. Nothing is really jumping out at us. Well, if he was doing anything with a phone, he must have been using a burner. We're following up on all the calls made and received. I just don't think we're going to find anything useful, though. All right. Keep digging. Maybe you'll find something. Anything yet on our missing waitress? Detective Hernandez is following up on a couple of leads. They don't look too promising, but we're not leaving any stone unturned. Is he giving you enough responsibilities on this case? I'm concerned. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm doing a lot in this one. Now, if we could just get somewhere in the investigation, I'd feel a lot better about my performance. Just keep plugging away. I remember how frustrated I got on my first case. Yeah, but I bet you solved it. Eventually. You just hang in there and keep plugging away. I have all the faith in the world in you. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Well, I'd better get back to it. I'm not going to solve anything chatting on the phone. All right, take care. Thanks. You too. Hello? Hey, what on earth are you doing? Finishing up lunch. What about you? You know good and well what I'm talking about, Kelly. I've just been notified that you're playing detective again, asking around about Daddy. It doesn't bother you that he's been missing for five years and then pops up one day saying he's been in a Turkish prison when he was supposed to be in Germany? Now he's being released for no reason, and both sides say they have no idea what's going on. You're okay with that? I'm not okay with anything, sis. Sure, there are a lot of unanswered questions, and I'm sure we'll hear the answer to all of them as soon as Daddy's back in country. Right now, I'm just happy that he's coming back. All of a sudden, no one is talking to me. Did you have anything to do with that? I'm with Homeland. We deal with domestic issues. This is a State Department matter. You're wasting your time making all these calls. It's my understanding that Daddy will be on his way home within 24 hours. You can wait that long to ask all of your questions. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect to find anyway? What was he really doing over there? And why did he get that assignment? Why did he travel to Turkey? And what really got him arrested? If he was arrested at all. Oh, here we go. Another conspiracy theory. What is it this time? Maybe an alien abduction? Yeah, that's what I think. He was really captured by aliens and held on a planet in another solar system. And the men in black negotiated his release. You figured it out. Don't forget the part where we exchanged prisoners in the Bermuda Triangle. This is not a joke, Kate. Something just doesn't add up. I think you're making way too much of this. Daddy was following a lead on a human trafficking case. It led to Turkey where he was set up by a crooked politician. End of story. If he was working a case, then there would be a paper trail. Other persons of interest. Something. There very well may be. But we don't know the full story. Let it go for now. And let's just welcome our father back. The last thing he'll need is a cross-examination by his daughter. Now put all this aside, and I'll call you when I get confirmation on his flight. 
Alright, alright. I'll put all this on the back burner. For now. Good. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Big sister, you don't know how accurate your sarcasm really was. Hey, Kate. Got a second? Yeah, sure. Come on into my humble office. Mind if I close the door? No, not at all. Is this where you pull out your jamming device again? No, I think we'll be okay for this. I just wanted to let you know that Frankfurt has been notified of the gag order. I gathered as much. I just got off the phone with Kelly and she accused me of shutting everyone up about Daddy. So what did you tell her? The truth. I'm involved in domestic security, not national. And this was a matter for the Department of State. Which is the truth. Sounds right to me. Do you think she'll back off? Uh, It's going to be in the back of her mind. But I'm hoping the reunion will quell things for a while. I'll get her busy with a homecoming party. Well, she can dig all she wants. Our people are ready. It's just... Daddy? Don't you worry about him. He has a lifetime of dealing with her. Well, all right. Glad we could have this chat. I'll let you know when we have a flight number and ETA for your dad. Thanks, Janet. Well, I see I'm not going to get anything done today. Homeland, Agent Hawk. Lucy, I'm home. Jim, where are you? (laughs) Uh, Martin State. Which one? Uh, The one northeast of Baltimore. You know what I mean. I'm here with Mr. Pearman. When did you get back to, uh, town? Uh, Literally, seconds ago. So did Malcolm pack you a bag lunch with mystery meat? (laughs) I laughed, but uh, he actually didn't make the offer. I'm craving some real good old USA fast food. Hey, what do you say we grab a basket of fries somewhere and go over what we found? Let me check. Hmm. Well, I have to be in Annapolis tomorrow morning for a meeting at the state capitol. Oh, yeah, that that Chinese sister thing? Yes, that China sister thing. Hey, I could uh, join now since I speak fluent Mandarin. I don't think that would be a good idea. If it got around that you suddenly spoke Mandarin, a lot of heads would turn. Hmm. What gives this if I can't use it? <laughs> On assignments, Jim. Not for fun. I hate it when you're right. Hey, by the way, uh, when does Horace do back? We should know within 24 hours. If it looks like it'll interfere with tomorrow, I'll have to catch up with you later. Sure. It'll be great to have him back now, in case we do eat lunch. Do you remember that place by the square, where we ate during the intelligence and law enforcement training seminar? The one in June? Yeah, it had the tables outside on the sidewalk. I can meet you there about 12.30. Can you get there okay? Well, Pyramid kept my old car and mothballs for me while I was recovering, so I'm good. (laughs) That thing should stay in mothballs. Well, I could just take the Annapolis dip. The old potato wagon will be just fine. See you at 12.30. And I'm glad you're back. Yeah, me too. See ya. Officer Mack. Hey, rookie. Still working that traffic detail? Just finished. I'm on my way up to check back in. How's the case going? Slow, but we're making some progress. I'm on my way up now to fill in Hernandez on what I found. He's a good guy. How's he doing? I think he's a pretty good detective. You might be too if you'd lay off those chili dogs for a while. Hey, don't worry about me. I can still pass the PAT, and I mean the physical agility test. Not this, P.A.T. Hey, look who's back. Crosswalk guard duty over already? I was on the traffic detail for the Charles Street Bridge project. With as much road work that's done in our city, you'll have job security for years to come. Let's not be too hard on him, Mac. We all started at the bottom. So, how'd it go with our waitress hunt? Yeah, I went to the restaurant again to talk to the owners. We have a name and address, but I don't think it'll help. Why is that? I checked it out. It's now a vacant lot. Do you mind if I brainstorm with you guys? The more eyes we get on this, the better. How did she get paid? The majority of her pay came from tips. She did receive a check each month, though. How'd she cash it? I checked with the bank that the restaurant uses to pay their employees. The return checks come from a check-cashing outfit not too far from Chinatown. So why don't you take this budding police officer with you? And see if you can get anything on Miss Wong. Can do. All right, rookie, let's roll. Do you think maybe you could start calling me partner? You mean like Turner and Hooch? Let me guess. You're Turner. Come on, boy. 
Horace, glad you could make it. Sorry, there's just something about the sound of a buzz than the click of the lock on a door. Well, hopefully from now on that's something that you'll only hear from the outside and not the inside of that door. Have a seat. Thanks. So, what's the verdict? Am I healthy and sane? Everything looks good. The doctors are all satisfied that you won't suffer any long-term effects. The psych evaluation was good. Thanks to one of our own. Actually, he was rather impressed. Given the fact that you were really incarcerated, even though much of it was undercover. So, what's next? One more intel debrief. Any of our people in on this? I'm afraid not. We did have one agent on the inside, but he rotated out. You'll be fine. It's just a formality. When will this happen? Ten hundred hours tomorrow. If all goes well, I don't anticipate any major problems. You'll then depart Ramstein at 4.37 p.m. and arrive at BWI at 6.57 p.m. And people say that time travel is a myth. <laughs> yeah, if the Concorde was still in use, you'd get there before you left. When should I notify Cade and Kelly? Let's get through the security debrief first. Once everything's done, we'll notify them on your behalf. That might be a good thing. Fewer questions for me that way. Gentlemen, what can I do for you? Hey, Officer Mack here. This is Officer Nelson. We're with the Baltimore PD. Is there some sort of problem? All of our licenses are up to date. Yeah, we're just trying to get some information. Our records show that a Miss Wong has been cashing her checks here. Have you seen the woman in this photo? A lot of people come in here. Do you realize how many Wongs come in here? She looks familiar. Is she in some sort of trouble? She might have some helpful information on a man who went missing. We just haven't been able to locate her. Here's one of our most recent checks from the bank. Well, that's my stamp mark. So I cashed it. It's mid-month, so she must come in every two weeks. Let me see that photo again. She came in wearing all black. Oh yeah, the ninja. Ninja? Well, she's not really a ninja. She just looks like one. She told me she waitresses at that big Chinese restaurant in Chinatown. That would be her. When was the last time you saw her? We date stamped the check, so... Last Wednesday? Did she talk about anything when she came in? Barely a word. That and being dressed in black is why I call her the ninja lady. I swear, if the door didn't have that bell on it, I'd never hear her come in. So she never spoke? Oh, you know. Hello, please cash. What type of identification did she use? A state photo ID from the DMV. Any particular way she wanted the cash? The highest denominations available. So, if it were, let's see, 860. She'd ask for eight one hundreds, a 50, and a 10? Yep. No exceptions? Nope. Is that unusual in your business? It's not really too unusual. Some people will spend less if they know how they have to break a big bill. Some people want it in 20, so they feel like big spenders. So... You think maybe she's really a ninja and took this guy out? No, we think she's just a waitress. Here's my card. Eh, if you think of anything else, please call me. And if I can't think of anything else, can I still call you? You're kind of cute. Uh, uh, excuse me. I need to take this. Mac. I just wanted to let you know that the coroner is finished and I have the lab results. Does Hernandez have them yet? No, Mac. I want you to run with this. Hernandez is giving you responsibilities in the case, so you take the ball. I appreciate that. I sent the report as an attachment to your email. Yeah, I got it right here. Anything jump out at you? Yeah, his stomach contents. I just opened it, looking for it now. Second page, about halfway down. Got it. Hmm, partially digested paper strips. It appears that there are traces of ink. Material is too decomposed to read. Strips of paper. You thinking what I'm thinking? A guy making fortune cookies eats the fortunes. He must have eaten them when we surprised him. So why would he eat the fortunes unless... Unless they weren't fortunes at all. 
Why was Quo making fortune cookies and why destroy the cookies? What will Kelly do when Horace returns? And what information does Barnes have for Kate? Find out in the next episode of the Hawk Chronicles, The Lynn Connection. Chauncey Haworth, Mark Slade, and Lothar Tuppen. The demented minds behind the Twisted Pulp Radio Hour bring you... Twisted Pulp Magazine. A journey beyond surreality to worlds you never knew or hoped existed. Worlds of the supernatural. Worlds of dark satire. Worlds of nightmarish futures. Twisted Pulp Magazine. If you thought the 21st century was weird enough already, think again. Twisted Pulp Magazine. A step beyond your grandfather's pulp. Available at digitalvaudeville.com. That's D I G I T A L V A U D E V I L L E.com. Mm-hmm.